Oh look, a bottle of whiskey. We can give that to Chuck when he never comes. Probably not the best idea right now. <laughs> I need to stay frosty. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure if you can't if you can hotwire a boat, it might be plausible. If you can't hotwire a boat, then if Kenny had the only set of keys, I guess it'd be kind of hard to take the boat. Although you think people might, because you know people are giant assholes, people might in uh in spite. Uh, destroy the boats or something. I just feel like it's really unlikely there's any actual boats there that are working. Because why wouldn't other people have taken the boats by then? Another closet. Damn, is all this place has closets on the bottom floor? All clear in here. I guess it's like an open floor plan house. And last door. Just one more to check. Okay, first I want to look at this portrait. And this was the family that lived here. With their stupid dog. <laughs> okay. Why are the paintings taken off the walls? And I bet you there's gonna be somebody in here, not a zombie, maybe. Okay, it's a bathroom. That's the last room. Looks like That's downstairs. A weird ass secure. place for a bathroom, though. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for Those a windows while. aren't barred behind. Well, they kind of are barred down, behind sorry. us, but they're open. Good. Thanks. Okay. Is he okay? Yeah. Did you yeah. rebandage his wound? But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, uh just nope. dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. Yeah. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell. Yeah, what the hell? Why have we questioned her yet? What does he want? Uh, go ahead, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. A friend? I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you Man, been saying to Man, this is like him? some creepy ass like I predator. I to find child my predator shit. They were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He Lee? What? What 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 what? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Okay. Did he go up into the attic and then he didn't come back down? Kenny I didn't hear any screams. He heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? Okay. I can't get him to come down. Why? Maybe the people here, here were relatives of his or something? You know? That could be possible. Maybe there's dead bodies. Maybe he's just gone totally insane and he's going to... I don't know. Kenny? They must be relatives. Or he's just finally come to terms with his emotions and he's like crying. Which is totally okay. And understandable. Kenny. You okay, man? No. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? It's the dead family? Oh my god. What? Oh, is that a kid? Oh, I guess if you die from starvation, then you also turn into a zombie. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Looks like duck, don't he? I guess. It's just a kid. Oh, uh, he starved. Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So even if you starve, you turn into a zombie. Can, Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can take care of it. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. That might make him feel bad, even though I didn't mean Are to make sure? him feel bad. Yes. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I can take it. Uh, give gun Kenny. Like, we could just leave him. He's not gonna... Well, it's not worth the risk. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Probably. Yeah, this could have been Clementine. Did did. Clementine have food up there? It never mentions it. Oh, man. Okay, I don't want to shoot him. I'm gonna bash him because I don't want him to get my feet <laughs> bloody, but I also don't want to track zombies by shooting a gun. Sorry, Kenny. But I'm not making you do this, at I'm least. Sorry. So... 
Wow, one hit. Lee's getting better. It's a good thing I took that railroad spiker. I don't I don't know how that'll really affect stuff in the long run, me choosing to do it myself or not. Maybe people think I'm too like I'll take care of it. Maybe people think like I'm too kill happy or something if I always choose to be the one who makes the kills. I don't freaking know. Somebody's gotta do it, and Kenny literally said that he couldn't do it. But I don't know if he's gonna use that to like turn on me. <clears throat> well, maybe he'll have his morning time and He'll be better off for it. Like, if we can't hear the zombies anymore, then I have a feeling Chuck is gone. Or maybe he could get really lucky and run away. Either way, he's not going to find us for a while unless we meet him at the waterfront. I don't know. He was kind of an inconsequential character anyway. Oh, wow. We have to walk around carrying his body. Okay. Isn't it a little risky to go out here and do this? Maybe. What happened to his other clothes, though? Why does he have socks and underwear, but he doesn't have any other clothes? Did he, like, eat his clothes or something? I suppose he could've. Although I don't actually know. Do clothes... Could clothes actually sustain hunger at all? I'd say no, because... What are they made of? I guess if they were, like, made of plant fibers, you would get some, I guess, fiber out of it if you ate clothes. I guess it just depends on what it's made out of. Like, I don't think cotton would really give you anything. And this probably sounds like I'm being really stupid. Uh, but I don't know. If you ate, like, clothes made out of plant fiber, do you gain any nutrition from that? I'm not talking about other, like, clothes, like silk or cotton or anything, because I know you wouldn't get anything out of that. Anyway, I probably sound stupid either way. I should probably stop telling her to go away, because she's going to have to face the hard facts anyway. Maybe she can come over here and help. But I'm sure they saw me carrying the dude out. Why am I just pausing? Okay. That dirt felt really weird. Oh my gosh. Why are you making me do a shovel by shovel game? Whenever they do a wide like he's just gingerly, like, placing the dirt down. <laughs> just do normal shovels, dammit, Lee. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I knew it. The last time they did that widescreen thing. Chuck? Hey! Hey! Who the hell was- That dude looked. Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? Oh god, I knew someone was watching us. I saw someone standing there by the fence. Watching us. That yeah, why would I I gotta tell no, the truth more? Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Anyway, when they did that woman? wide Didn't screen pan look. the first time with the fence, I'm I totally the thought they were gonna have it show somebody the being the there. And then they did it again and that guy was there, but it still startled me. But I definitely I mean, thought there was I'm gonna fine. be something there. I just I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? There was Lee some saw dude. someone watching us from outside the gate. What? He obviously didn't mean his harm though, otherwise he would have used a weapon or something and attacked. Off before I, could get a I don't know look. why he was there though. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out I there guess. actually stalking us. Anyway, that dude- Alright, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get uh, down to the river and find ourselves a boat. Maybe. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on exactly. food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Yes. You search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came with to his city house? to find a boat? And that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe go for it's not it, dude. such a bad idea to check the place one I more. said I'm done with this house. Okay, fine. Go by yourself. I don't care anymore, Kenny. I'm not on your side. Go by yourself. You crazy. What are we gonna do when we get in the boat, anyway? We need food. Where are we gonna go? We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river oh, and no. get us a boat. No, no, no. Wait, can't well, I come? No, no, no. My mom and dad can't be far now. 
Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Uh, Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here. None with of the you. options actually let me I take her with watch you. Watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put. None of the options actually gave me what I wanted to do. Hey, don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Okay? Okay. I was totally fine. Bringing Daylight's her. burning. Gonna go grab my gear, wow. then we'll head out. So if I'd picked it differently, or we go look for her parents first instead, maybe things would have changed. But now she probably's getting mad at me and doesn't trust so me. I don't you're know. So just gonna leave me on the bench here? What? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on. Even Granger. though last time you totally abandoned that. her. Well, just so we're clear, while I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot him. What about Chuck? You can think twice about it. Understand? Crap. I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone. Okay. Are we gonna Good. end up killing Chuck? Oh, that was probably a bad idea, because last time Ben tried to do it with the Raiders. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, all my decisions I don't trust. But anyway, that okay, so way back to it. That dude who was behind the gate. He looked a hell of a lot like the uh, dad in the portrait picture inside of the house. So when the hell do we end up in the sewers with Krista? Because that's what the, the slide picture was. Maybe that happens when we realize there ain't any boats? Like anywhere? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't like how my decisions are going. Probably should have said we'd look for her parents before the boat. But as soon as we go and find that there is no boat, which will happen, and then Kenny will freak out, uh, we will look for her parents, I hope. Because I kind of feel like that's the option I should have gone with instead of looking for the boat right away. Because the more you think about the boat option, the more really, really, really unlikely it is. I wonder what all the markings on the doors mean. Oh, <sighs> you think they're safe you at think the house? Everyone's safe back at the house. Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. Maybe. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough. Now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. I guess. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks away. Oh my god, Kenny, you're so obsessed, but there's not going to be a boat. Oh shit, the bell tower's Son going of again. A bitch, that bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Or right behind us. Okay. What in the Slide hell is the going on? They're controlling the dead with bells, keeping them walking around so they can make their way around the city, I'm guessing. Uh... I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I think. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Calm down, Kenny. Good one. I think what's happening is there's people who are living in the city in a group, and the way they navigate the city is Keep by moving. using the different bell towers to draw the dead over there so they can navigate through different parts of the city. It's kind of a slower way to move, but I guess it's a lot safer since the zombies are stupid enough to always Still follow the bell. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Don't. Oh, what? Oh my god. Is there a blockade of... Oh yeah, what did I say? There's gotta be a boat. No, There's dude. Gotta... I told you. I like how that's a few blocks away. Time for a plan B. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. No, there's gonna be a this boat! This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Okay, good luck. There's no boats. Can we just let Kenny die? Please? He goes back and forth from liking me and trusting me to not. Dude, that boat is half underwater. And it looks like there's a pole rising up through it. This one might still be salvageable. <sighs> you better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. Yeah, well, we're dicking around. What are we even gonna do when we get out on the boat? We don't have any food. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. Man, everybody's got mood swings up the edge. We don't have to. See that telescope? 
You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Don't those things usually cost find. like money? Okay. <coughs> Man, the boat's not salvageable. I don't know why the boat is the stupid final option. Pretty sure in the end we're all gonna die horribly. <laughs> That's how this is gonna end. I honestly would not be surprised. I'm good not talking to Kenny. I don't think the oh jeez. What the hell is going on over here? Can I go look at this? People who are control of this city are using that as a... So that's their territory on the other side, I'm guessing. And they're using that as like a gate to... Keeping people the hell away. Fuck. Does this meant to be some kind of... Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be a warning. Something like this. Uh, bandits? Crazy people? Oh wow, his face isn't textured. Or any part of him, really. I'm not shooting them, are you serious? Oh dude, is that- Oh my god, that barricade is just made of dead people, isn't it? It looks really bad though, like the texturing and shit. That's a lot of dead people. Okay. Yeah, that looks really bad, like really fake. Okay then, this is fun. Great. Needs a cool ah, I was right. It does need money. Uh, bash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Built solid. Okay, I need a quarter. I guess I gotta talk to Kenny How about a quarter. Maybe I can tell him about the messed up barricade that we somehow didn't see before. There's boards. There's a truck. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Thanks, dude. You're just leaning over staring at the boat. Okay, I can't go the oh, I was walking into that thing, I guess. Uh Cash register. I uh well the cash register might. That's an interesting is like a Hello, beautiful. magazine side stand. Is there money? Yeah, probably. I guess I'm gonna have to go into this building, aren't I? Yeah, I wonder what the markings mean. This is definitely for whoever the hell's in the city. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Uh, is that triangulation? Bell towers? And then codes for keeping track of places and whatnot? I don't want to be going in this alley. I can hear zombies. I really hope they're just on the barricade. Please just be on the barricade and not out in the street all of a sudden when I come out of the alley. There's more markings. I wonder if he says the same thing. Could be military tags. Mm, what they mean? I guess they could be military tags. This is like a gun store maybe just because of the rifle there and stuff. Look at the walkers. Maybe they got a quarter on them. Did this. Uh, whoever's in control of the city. Okay. Nothing over here. It's an interesting place to set up a barricade, too. Why there? So the bell towers are obviously outside of their little compound area. Look at boards. Look at newsstand. Look at boards. A newspaper machine. I don't know if people usually put money in that, but there could be something there. Locked. Okay, well, time to bash it open. Okay, well, did that work? Yes, it did. That is a very realistic quarter on a very unrealistic ground. Okay, I got the quarter. That sound might have attracted them. Oh, dude, there's somebody right there. Is it a zombie? What is that? Should I walk towards it? No. That should probably stick close to Kenny. Okay. It's too dangerous out here. Why is there still a zombie just waiting over there? That's creeping me out. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get like swarmed or something. Somebody's gonna throw off like a a firecracker or fireworks or something near us. That would attract them over. I don't like this area at all. There is too much shit that can go wrong. I wonder how many. What? 
What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, while well, someone stripped out the battery. No shit. You can't fix it? Dude, his face is messed up. Oh, he just saw the barricade, that's why. What the... what the hell is that? I already looked at it. A fate worse than death. I don't know. Oh, dude, do you think those people were put up there before they died? Like, they were normal-ass humans, and then they were put up there? No sign of any boots down there. Nope. And then they were like put up there and then they died while they were on the stake. Abandoned. Like every other place in this city. We're gonna see somebody, aren't we? I don't want I don't want Plenty of ducks. No boats. Okay, I'm really afraid we're gonna like see somebody. No way that one's salvageable. Okay. Please don't tell me we're gonna Nothing see somebody through this thing. Not a boat to be seen. Somebody's gonna like take Kenny. There we go. What the hell? Yep. Crowbar. Oh, he's like an ice axe. And he's scaling down the wall. Get down. Get down. What the hell's going on? Was that where was that? It wasn't behind us, it was to our right. Oh, there's a bandit. Goes to the newsstand. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Really? Kenny can't see him? Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? No. Maybe he's just another scavenger like us. He kind of looks yeah, like he is. maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Uh, Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Uh, okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet. Taken by surprise. Oh, I don't like this plan. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. He would have heard us. 